Hey guys, so a couple weeks ago I posted on my Instagram story like what do you guys want to see me do apart from singing and my friend Mary Elaine commented that I should make a video explaining my artistic process when writing a song and I thought oh, that, that'd be really cool, you know, and it's it's something that I that I love to do. So first I had to have a song. There's this song I wrote two weeks ago called Chaotic and to the day two weeks ago and it's on this channel. I posted it two days ago. So if you want to go watch that video, I'll post it in the description below and you can listen to the song. Um, I hope you like it so you can be more in tune with what I'm about to cover. So the idea came to me when I was getting in the shower. I was naked. Um, I think this was the first time that I'd ever written a song but naked, but there's always a first. Um, and it came to me because I was hanging out with someone who didn't invite me to what they were doing after I left and I felt really left out and I was like, why didn't they invite me? Like, like I knew it, ju it just felt like, you know, I, sometimes I feel left out. Everyone feels left out. And that's what I realized as, as I was writing this song, <laughs> but, but we all know that we all feel the same emotions at different moments in our lives. The song lyrics that came to me first, just sitting in the shower was, I want to be the first one that you think of when you're going out. That was um, the, the first lyric that came and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be another ballad. Like I needed more bops because I love my ballads. I think they're my strongest songs, but because they're my strongest songs, like I need more upbeat songs. You know what I mean? Because um, I already have a ton of ballads that I adore. So I started writing this and I was thinking like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So after I was just singing into my phone, I thought maybe I could start it out as a ballad and then go into a more upbeat type of song. Like I wanted it to sound like um, Flex, All In My Head by Fifth Harmony or What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber or Slumber Party by Britney Spears, you know, like those songs that just make you go like that um, and have really tropically production. And so I just uh, started singing into my phone what I felt in the moment and I'm gonna post that voice memo of me singing. I turned the shower off and the sounds of water you're gonna hear, I think is the water draining and then me splashing around in the shower, the water. So I was just like, cause I write my songs usually pacing. So I'm just pacing in the shower, splashing water. So I hope you like it. And I'm gonna post a picture of Lana Del Rey and her guitarist, Blake, just having a blast on stage while you listen to it. I want to be the first one that you think of when you're going out. I want to be the last one that you dream of before you settle down. And I want to take it slow with you because I'm not afraid we won't get there someday. I want you wrapped up all around me so there's no way we'll ever say goodbye. So can you hear me? It takes all of me just to be loud and clear about what I'm thinking. Don't take your time. Cause we're headed for the top, top, top. Mm. We both make chaotic. I'm like a word, darling. No, 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 no. Don't worry, I'm on it. Riding through all the storms that come and go. You're messed up, you're in luck. You're messed up, you're in luck. I've seen things that make your parents gasp. So we both make chaotic. So after that, I came to the piano 
and I started working on the lyrics a little bit more. I wanted the chorus to have more changes. If, if you can see, the chorus is a lot flatter and it doesn't go as deep into things as I as I wanted them to. I was hearing the voice memo because I forgot all these old lyrics, the line that I've done things that, that could make your parents gasp. Um, like, I, I, I love that line. I think it, um, I think it came from a Charlie Puth song that's like, um, you said you wanted a perfect guy that would make your parents proud. Guess you still ain't found him yet. Oh, because <laughs> you still ain't found him yet because we're still messing around. And I thought that line was so cool. So I sort of put in like, I've done things that I could, that would make your parents gasp. Like, yeah, I'm like not the ideal boyfriend. I changed it up a little bit, but what is cool is that I mumbled because I'd rather put in nothing than put in a bad lyric because I usually don't like altering my lyrics all that much once I finish a song because I'd rather leave it as is with my feelings than begin to change change like there are people that say like oh yeah we spent five days writing this song and like how in the world can that be like a personal song if you spent like 25 hours writing it there's only like 40 lines in a song you shouldn't spend that long writing it you know unless you're not writing a personal song you're writing one that's like for radio or whatever so then i came to the piano and i touched it up and then I added the chords. And I made this paper with the chords of the song. So what you're gonna see, <laughs> what you're gonna see here is that um, you see, I do this all for me, right? So you have the, so I came out to the piano and made this little Google Doc and I put the chords there. I don't know if they're like properly written, like the D inverse A, but this is for me, right? I'm not like an official person. So this email right here, I, I wrote it, I think I wrote it on a Google Doc first, but this I wrote on um, the first day, the top part. And um, so, yeah. And so I wanted to use chords that are a little bit different than usual. I was taking this piano class with this man. I don't take them anymore. Um, but he was like very keen on using inversions and changing the bass note to not have all the chords in a song be simple. So let's say there's like a normal chord like this. This is, this is the first chord of the song, right? It's D. And the right hand, you play D, F sharp, A. And so you invert it. So instead of it being in that order, D, F sharp, A, you do A, D, F sharp. So instead of it sounding like this, like it would in the majority of other songs, it sounds like this. So you find the one that fits the mood, so that's more happy, I guess. Like, like there's something on top, like like sunshine. I feel I feel like sunshine when I when I play this intro, which is. Like it, it makes me happy. I think every chord in the intro is an inversion, um, like that. So it's. So instead of the second chord being like E, I play this inversion. And if you see, it's the same notes, but they're in a different order. And then you do G. So yeah. And so I wanted to do that to make the song sound more exciting. Like I'm actually doing something a little more original. And then I added this chord. This chord is my favorite. With this, instead of it, you play the A chord, and instead of putting A, 
on the bottom, which sounds normal. We put F sharp. And it sounds really beautiful. So I want to go through my analysis, like writing the lyrics, like what I wanted to say with the lyrics in the song, which um, is really fun. So it's, I want to be the first one that you think of when you're going out. I want to be the last one that you dream of before you settle down. That was the whole concept of the song. Like, I want to be that priority for you. The next two lines were some of the hardest for me to figure out because there's so many syllables. But it ended up being, and I want to take it slow with you because I'm not afraid we won't get there someday. So... That's not about waiting to like for a certain thing. Like, like it's not that, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But it's more like we don't have to rush everything that we want to do, you know, together. Like, like have fun and like find creative ways to do things. You know, if all you do is kiss and do those other things the same old same old like like it's not gonna be exciting all the time you know um so that's kind of what I meant like let's try everything and, and just have fun you're the only one who's made me second guess that I thought I had figured out I kind of want that line to be <laughs> to be um sort of something that you reflect on like what would this person make you question about what you had thought before then this part I changed a lot the lyrics and it's so pull me closer and you'll see that risking falling in love will always be worth the cost I think that's my favorite lyric of the song because like, you know, when when you're with someone and you like don't wanna don't wanna like define what you are, like like oh we're just we're just casual. And and that's great. Um I I actually think casual like friends with benefits type things like that's cool. But there's always that chance of like something more is gonna happen. The worst thing is when one person feels it and the other person doesn't. Like, even just putting myself in that situation, because I've written several songs, of my best songs, um, about that. And it's like, risking falling in love will always be worth the cost. Like, who cares? Like, like it's it's a great feeling and, and you might not want it, but like, in, in the end, it's gonna be so special. Enter if you dare, because we're headed for the top. Um, so in my English class, we were taking the IB exams, and the last, no, the first English exam was about basically this room, and my interpretation of it was like everything in, in the room symbolized like the fantasies of this person. Like inside of this room, it becomes like a reflection of what you want your life to be closed off. So enter if you dare, because we're headed for the top. It's like, beware, because you don't know what, what can happen. <laughs> and then the chorus is, I'm feeling chaotic. In this room, babe, the ceiling's the limit. Don't hold yourself back. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm feeling chaotic. Like, let's just go for whatever. Don't plan anything. I find when things are planned... Even even in songwriting, let's stay on the topic of songwriting. Like when I plan to write a song, like, oh, at nine o'clock I'm gonna write a song. I never keep the song, you know, because it's like it comes to you. It's not like you can just at nine o'clock I'm gonna sit down with my no like that. And it's also a nod to Camila Cabello. So you might know why, but it's like, I, th I think that line is, is very cool. Because the, the, the phrase is, the sky is the limit. And then I was like, well, you're in a room. So like, unless you break the ceiling with a hatchet, like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> don't settle for the cliche. 
<laughs> they they call it in in Clockwork Orange the old in and out. <laughs> Clockwork Orange is this amazing movie, and he's like, it's time for the old in and out Like, don't settle for that. Like, there's so many other things you can do. Like, go eat popcorn and cuddle or something. Like, they're... <laughs> Man, don't we look good together? <laughs> I mean, I have a story for that, but I don't think it's... <laughs> I, should... I should talk about it. Yeah, it has to do with mirrors. Um, so let's be chaotic in this room, babe. The ceiling's the limit. I, I have, like, three different writing styles. And on the radio, they're, like, 20. But these are, like, some... Where it's, like, you start, um, with the line, the, like, cook. Like, I'm feeling chaotic in this room, babe. The ceiling's the limit. Then, in the middle of the sandwich, you add something that adds to that, like adds to the story of why you're saying this. And then at the bottom you add the other piece of bread and it's reinforcing it. So now you have like a better understanding of why I said that in the first place. So that's like my little, my little, um, chorus sandwich. So the second verse is like a continuation of everything I've been saying. So it's like, don't be afraid to ask for all the things that make you lose control. We've already elaborated on that. I only ask for comfort when I'm alone and need someone to hold. I worked on this lyric a lot because at first I was like, I only ask for comfort when I'm lonely and need your embrace. Um, but that sounds a little cheesy. Um, and lonely doesn't fit. Like, it, the, the O just needs to be on the other, the second syllable. So instead of it being lonely, it's alone. Um, like, I'm just going to call you up, babe, and, and you just come here and hold me. Like, <laughs> goals. Because um, it started off as one night turned into a million escapades. So basically, this is another one of my favorite lines. I always wanted to write a song called Escapade. It's one of my favorite words, but I just, uh, again, I thought it would be cheesy. Like, like it would, it would be something like Kesha's song, Take It Off. Like, like we're going out, we're gonna have an escapade. Um, it, it just, it's something like that, like it would not have been cool. So instead, of, instead I put it, I put that beautiful word in my song. This world is full of wonders, but all that I need is to see your face. Isn't that the best thing ever? Like, I don't like creepy people who like look at you and they're like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Like they turn around and stare at you while they're driving and... I've seen other people do it. Has that ever happened to me? No, I don't think while well, I'm riding with someone I like that that has happened to me. But if anyone ever did that, I would slap them. And then in the bridge, I, I always do like strong bridges. In the song, it's ballad, dancey, ballad, dancey. And then there's, there's like a little reggae influence in the pre-chorus, right? At least I think. And then in the bridge, I always do like a hardcore type thing. And at some point, I do want to write a song with like a chill bridge. My song Down Low has a little bit of a chill bridge. The bridge in my song Down Low, I think is my favorite bridge for that reason of mine. <laughs> There's so many better bridges. But in this one, I, I changed the chords up a little bit. So instead of it being like... Those are the chords of the chorus, and so I did Unlock your deepest fantasies, I promise they reside in me And that's a chord that is only found like in the weird um, places of the song, like in the um, And I thought it'd be cool to add that one there And this one doesn't pop up anywhere in the song Your Divas Fantasies. I have a song called Fantasies. 
I love that song, um, but the verses are weak, so I haven't posted a video of it or like wanted to work on it in the studio when I get the chance because that is a song that I want to work on the verses with with someone. The chorus is like a soaring chorus like because you do it so well oh you do it so well it's like that type of like you know like a Tarzan thing like like, <laughs> I don't know. And I, I kind of do a similar thing here. And I put fantasies. I love, I love the word fantasies. It means so many things. I could have said, unlock your deepest fetishes. <laughs> I, I promise they reside in me. I promise your fetishes are in me. You just have to find <laughs> You just have to find them. Don't have, don't have to play it cool to be free. Don't pretend. Don't think pretension is a way to to get success. Yeah, like like don't ever hide the fact that you're fucked up, and that is really in right now. So the last thing I did with the song was practice it. It took me three nights of practice to finally be able to s sing in this key because I kept on wanting to lower it because it's really high like I was I was thinking like um this song would be like suited for a girl like I have a song that I think would be perfect for Demi Lovato yeah so these are the chords but then it's really hard for me to sing like so pull me closer It's hard for me to hit those notes sometimes, so I, I was gonna do it like So pull me closer And I'll see the risk of falling in love will always be And I would do it like more belty like So pull me closer And I'll see the risk Like, I'm not gonna try that now because I haven't had water But um, it would be more like that uh, But I wrote it in this tone and I wanted to keep it in and challenge myself so yeah the whole song you know if I could tell you like if you could follow my writing process like my train of thought while I'm writing a song basically what I want to do with all of my songs is make it a reflection of like a moment in time when I was thinking of something so you know when we were at the beginning of the song that is a hundred percent what was going through my head um and then you come to this place where it's like an exaggeration of either a true story or you take a true story and you manipulate it exaggerate it melodramatize it <laughs> just just dramatize it that's what I always say. Songs are dramatiza over dramatizations of real life events, whether they are yours or someone else's. And what I really liked about this song is it has a little bit of everything that my songs have usually. Like some of my songs have that 100 percent realness that's in in the verses of the song and then you have in the pre-chorus a little bit more of like the world building like what i want to say with the song usually my pre-courses are like me having like a line of character like what sort of way do i want to portray myself um, in the song. So I've, I've never really thought about this when I'm writing a song, but it just happens. Like, um, in songs that you've heard, in Platonic Love, it's, I don't want to be alone, I don't want to let you go, because I can't imagine where I'd be if you weren't here for me. Like, it shows the vulnerability. And Down Low, it's like, 
Um, so come on, why don't we just make out? They're all going to talk about us anyways. Don't hold back. You know, I can take it because I'm not like those other boys. I'm hotter than those other boys. Like it, like it shows me like, like I really want this and I like, I'm like, I, like I'm in that head space and here it's like, so pull me closer and you'll see that risking falling in love will always be worth the cost. It's like self-empowerment and also saying that I know there's a part of you that might not want this, but it's worth it. And it, it'll always be worth it. Even people who've had their heart broken like t by 20 different people or had their heart broken 20 times by the same person. We always go back to you. <laughs> go back to it. I want to say back to you because I love that song. I'm just like plugging in all my favorite artists. <laughs> and in the chorus, I just want it to be a cute, cute chorus. And that's pretty much it. Like, that was my process, sort of my analysis of the song. What did I write? I need to see what I wrote in the video of me covering the song, or was it on my Instagram? I think it was on my Instagram. I explained it very well. Like, I wanted it to be a freedom in a relationship, both physically. Um, there's another word that fits that better, but of course I'm not going to say it because some people will be like, Mark is talking about sex in his songs. Like, he's canceled. Well, all the, all the like, uh, parents and people from South Carolina. Um, <laughs> but, um, anyways, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let me know what you think i think that this video is gonna be pretty long but this was like i think really helpful for people to just like understand how i write a song um i write songs differently every time and i think it was cool i see artists doing like all the time the the genius lyric meaning so I, I think it was cool to sort of add that element to it as well and I know it was just like me talking like I don't have like a background thing or anything but I'm slowly learning different things and I think you have to first make like pretty shitty videos in order to make amazing ones like every couple months like with my covers like I always add a new element um like first it was just me and the piano and then it was me and the mic and the piano and then it was um, me and the mic and the piano and the harmonies. So, um, I don't know. If, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and <laughs> give it a thumbs up and like. <laughs> give it a thumbs up and a comment what you thought, um, any feedback, what you'd like me to do next revolving around music, reacting to music, reviewing music. I I love doing that. Um, music reacting, I'm not sure because I don't want to like blow things out of proportion um, and over dramatize things. Like I'm usually very chill when I listen to songs for the first time like or sometimes I get emotional but I don't think you want to see that on camera. <laughs> there are other people on YouTube but like what would you want to see me do that would make it, you know, unique? And I'll keep trying to come up with more ideas. I want to talk about things that are, like, relevant as well, like things in pop culture. I love reviewing albums. I, I do that all the time. I always add, like, a 4 out of 5, a 3 out of 5, and then I get my reasons and my favorite songs. Like, would you want that? Like... For Sweetener, the Ariana Grande album, would that be a cool thing to do? Because I should do it with an album I think I'm going to like first, and I think I'm going to like Sweetener. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Later, chickies. <laughs> Bye.